Okay, well, before I start, yes, it's time to do comparisons again because Squid Jib. Yes, Squid Jib actually did a video, and I am here to actually talk about it because, well, yet again, they haven't actually did it, and besides, freaking Jason actually ate the SD card, so the second half of it has been gone, and apparently they got so damn bored of it. Anyways, I'm here to do damage control, which I wasn't asked to, whatever, and plus, man, that video, oh my gosh, that freaking, that, that one, that one was horrible. I'm sorry, but that one was just so horrible. I'm going to say my patented word of God awful, but my gosh, man, that, if you want to see drunkenness, you get drunkenness in there. Anyways, let's talk about it. I'm going to talk more about it when I do a thorough book review, but that's going to come someday, someday when I get a new laptop. Anyways, so the things that we didn't get in the freaking in the freaking episode that was in the book. First things first is a bunch of first graders. Yeah, so apparently a sixth grader actually is the coach of first grade soccer team, which I guess you can kind of say, oh, South Park did that. A fourth grader actually did kindergartners. Yeah, Stan did it. Stanley Cup. Yeah. Yeah, episode. My gosh. We are the champions. <laughs> that, that sucked. That episode sucked, man. Oh, my gosh. They could have been easy on the kids, but no, forget. <laughs> Anyways, these first grader stalker players and... The first grade soccer players are the ones who actually are complete jerks and they got rid of them. Why they got rid of them is because when it comes to freaking filming, they so can't get a bunch of kids. I don't know why, but yeah, they are not going to get a bunch of kids. This actually is also demonstrated in Bride of the Living Dummy and many other places too. But yeah, they don't hire a bunch of kids. I don't know why. It seems pretty easy to just get the bunch of kids and like, hey guys, you're in a soccer team. I'll come over here. You want to guest star on a TV show? Yes, we sure do. And then there we go. It's like frick. Is that so damn hard? Apparently, it is. So, yeah, we got Steve. He's the main character. He was in the previous episode slash book. And I kind of have to say, I think he might have been played by a different person, but I doubt it. I'm just saying, yeah, I'll make sure I look at that. I'll make sure I look at that when it comes to it. But anyways, yeah. And the reason why he got the mask was not because in the episode, he was like, I'm going to scare a bunch of people. I want people to be scared this time. I want to have an awesome freaking damn costume. So that's why he goes back to the store. And this one in the book, it turns out he wants to scare these freaking damn first graders because they're rotten kids who played a joke on them. And of course, just like in Be Careful What You Wish For, where they had a horrible, horrible, horrible stunt that could actually hurt someone. This one had one, too, where the first the rotten first graders will actually have a ball made of cement look like a soccer ball. And he will kick it and. I think that would still be okay. You still have like, you'll have a decently, yeah, shaped ball, heavy weighted, and then the kid fakes a kick and pretends he's hurt. It's like, yeah, that would be cool. But no, they skipped that one because kid gets seriously hurt. And we got a guy in a cape, which we have no freaking damn idea who the freak it was. Just like what happened in Werewolf of Fever Swamp, where they had the hermit that didn't do sh in the book. But it being a stupid, crazy guy. But in the episode, they decided to lift him up and say he is a werewolf hunter. He lost his family and he's here to defeat that werewolf once and for all and defend his honor. It's like, yeah, but instead of what happened in the episode where the mask came back, the first mask actually came back and wanted revenge. So he imposed himself on the freaky shopkeep, which again, the first book is different from the episode because, well, in the first book, you had just some stupid, crazy scientist who made life freaking, I don't know, life freaking masks and crap, even though even saying that, I'm like, wait, how does the second one even make sense, though? Yeah, so the the shopkeep in the episode actually said those were my old faces that I had to craft because they continue to rot and change and I need to get a new mask and it's like, yeah, it's like that. So he went on that guy, and now that guy's possessed by that freaking mask, and he's not going to get Carly Beth. So, yeah, that's completely different. 
And the guy in a cape is nothing but a freaking, I don't know. I would have to say a homeless dude that decides to live in there since it's, it's not really abandoned. It's just closed down. And yeah. So one thing you need to know is that in the episode, he did put on a mask in. The, oh yeah. He stole the mask, of course. And he did it by blink of an eye. And then he put it on in his room and in the book, apparently he couldn't get it off. It's like first one and you're done. First put on your screw, not three, one. Yeah, so he put it on, can't take it off, he sleeps in it. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's completely different from the episode. Definitely completely different. He was able to take it off, but it was a little bit hard, but he took it off anyways. So, yeah, he slept in it, and then eventually he's like, how to get this off? I've got to call Carly Beth. And this funny part where I'm like, oh, dude, that would be kind of fun, too. And we can't say, oh, but Goosebumps don't do that lowbrow freaking comedy on the episodes calling all creeps anyone calling on creeps anyone that freaking episode proves yes they could have the only messed up part is this they did not cast a father yes carly Bell's father did not show up in the episode at all just like in be careful what you wish for where her father didn't show up either at least the good news is that carly Beth get to keep her brother while um Samantha doesn't get to keep her older brother. Nope. 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 So yeah, that's the complete difference. It was like, oh fuck. So that means that but they could have changed it though. They could have just made it the fact of okay, well the mom calls. Mom picks up the phone instead. But anyways, that would have been a fun freaking moment. But okay, frick it. Never mind. You didn't even cast a daddy. That's your messed up problem. You didn't cast a daddy. So, anyways, the first graders actually tried to help them in the series. They kind of gave a little homage to that because I remember that there was a bunch of kids and they're like, are you okay, mister? And he's like, ah, and they're like, ah, and he grabbed the candy from them and all that crap. So, yeah, they gave like a little bit of homage. And, well, just like in the first book where it's like, oh, you need to find a symbol of love. Crazy enough, instead of actually... Yeah, because that's when the episode decides to take this into their own hands instead of going to Carrie, Car Carrie, Carrie Beth, whatever. Anyways, instead of going to her, the freaking mask dude, the mask, haunted mask, actually found him and said, okay, I can help you. If you get me one thing, I will remove that curse from you. I will remove the mask myself. All you have to do is go to the Kari Best house and steal that freaking statue of her head that mom made. Yeah, so yeah, it's completely different. And even though they actually thought it was boring, yeah, shame on you, Squid Jib. I thought that was kind of awesome. It's like, oh, dude, you're getting double crossed and you don't even freaking damn know it. And he could actually kill you. And he said, I can kill you. And it was like, oh, frick, man, you, you, you got screwed, Holmes. You got screwed. But anyways, in a book, it turns out that, yeah, Carly Beth, since there's no threat, they decided to go home. And apparently he loves the symbol of love is cookies. He loved those cookies that his mom gets. So his mom got the cookies, but sadly, the dog ate them. No, the black and white cookies. I had them. They were pretty good. And I was at first going to say there was no dog. There was no dog. There's a dog in the book, but there's no dog in the episode. Wrong. There is a dog in the episode. Well, that's good for you. There's sometimes where you guys struggle in getting a dog, but at least good news that this episode, you got the dog. Even though you wrote out the reason why the dog is even needed, like freaking damn. <laughs> oh, freak. Here comes the interesting part. Here's the twist that was in the whole episode in the book. In the episode, they decided to actually use the whole, he scared Carrie Beth. He scared Carly Beth, whatever. She scared her, and the reason why he scared all the damn time is because he actually loved her. <gasps> so that's the symbol of love, is the fact of he actually sacrificed his life to save her from the haunted mask, and that's what broke the spell. Wow. Of course, there was no threat. So since there was no threat, that means that this plot could not actually be used in the book whatsoever. Pretty sad. Pretty sad. So here is the book's stupid resolution. 
I would just say this is the most stupid thing, and I actually have to read it too eventually. And of course, this one's actually gonna get, this one's gonna get freaking damn. Yeah, as soon as I'm done with this, this book is so getting sold to the lucky viewer who actually will claim it as his own. But anyways, yeah, so the way they freaking cure him is the fact that if they go back to the freaking store and, oh, we, hey, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. I have to actually talk about one thing from the first book, though. The first book, it ended with her brother putting on the mask. But, of course, well, they actually got rid of the mask. She buried it and the brother couldn't actually put it on. Yeah, so how the frick, yeah, where's the mask? Yeah, you didn't get rid of it. Your brother took it on. So, yeah, here's always the part of the mysterious A, where it ended, and B, where it began. Where's the middle part? It's like, yeah, we don't know. We don't know how the brother got it off. We don't know where she put it. Yeah, we have no idea where that mask went. Thank you for telling us. Always this crap. But of course, it's like, oh, kids, we they don't need to know what happened to the mask. They don't. The solution is very simple. It turns out that the mask actually had a costume to go with it. So as soon as they put the costume and put it up in the air or some kind of crap, the mask came right off and then formed into an actual person and the person ran a frick away. What the frick? What the frick that makes no sense at all your first book screwed your second book man you said it came from a science lab and crap that doesn't make sense that does not make sense at all that gives me a headache right now but anyways that's how he did it so it turns out chucky boy actually got a freaking mask so when he lied about oh dude and didn't get a mask it's like it turns out that steve got a mask Now Chuck has a mask, and Chuck puts on a mask, and now the mask is stuck on him. Congratulations, bastard. You made another one where it's like, oh, so either A, um, I forgot, oh, Haunted Mask Alive. Who knows? Maybe Haunted Mask Alive would have tackled freaking Chuck. We're not sure. It never been written. And, of course, Screams on a Haunted Mask does not do crap because, well, it sucks balls. It really does sucks balls. So let's end with what happened in the episode. In the episode, the last bit that happened is that he was able to take off the masks. They both put, they have the mask with them while they went home to someone's house. I forgot which one. I think it was Carrie Beth. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, as soon as the mom left, they actually took the masks and threw them in the fire. Steve's mask burned. Carrie Beth's mask stayed. Yeah, it melted at first, but then it came back. And then as soon as it was like, uh, uh, the dog. Oh, so that means it's Steve's house. Okay, it was Steve's house. So the dog bit it, took it with him, and buried it. Thus meaning if they wanted to, they can make a Haunted Mask 3 if they really wanted to. So yeah, that mask is still at large being buried again. That's how it ends. <laughs> That's how it freaking damn ends, folks. So, I don't know. Is a freaking dark ending if you're reading the book or actually looking at the episode. But the episode is a nicer one, actually saying, oh, yeah, we definitely will warrant another sequel. We will definitely warrant it. Well, hey, Haunted Mask never actually had a sequel. All it got was maybe a in quotation spinoff because they didn't even name the next book Haunted Mask 3. It was either Haunted Mask Alive or Screams of Haunted Mask. I mean, there is no connection at all, I think. But yeah, there you go, folks. So if you want to know the difference, there is your difference. Which one did you like better, the book or the episode where Squid Jib said it was boring as fuck? <laughs> this is the big fart. <laughs> yeah, this is a fart. This is a fart of a crossroads where it's like, the book ended sucky, but at least the episode, remember what they freaking damn did and said, oh, good, which is how we're going to do it. The book doesn't remember anything. I mean, yeah, they got rid of the guy who created them, so that's good news meaning that they could do whatever they want, but they kind of forgot what a haunted mask really was, which was just basically something made in a lab. 
And he hasn't even, there's like no notes, no nothing at all that it would have been cool. That would have been a nice add in to actually make it better. The fact of they had a file and he's like, look at this file saying I have completed stage one. And I started on stage two where I decided to actually make bio life suits or some kind of crap that matches. And it was like, oh, okay, we got to find. It's like, yeah, that would have made it a little bit better. But nope, 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 nope. Anyways, I'm done. Thank you for watching, folks. Oh, man, that book sucks. It's going to suck when I have to read it. Oh, God, man. Oh, God.